<laughs> hey guys, Noel and Santino here. Here. And an actual fighter character here for an exciting video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to be uh, reviewing, along with Santino, one of my all-time favorite side-scrolling games. It's a game we visited on the channel before, but I thought Santino and I would give it the Let's Play treatment. It is uh, the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which we will be playing through the magic of the Mega Drive Mini. This is the magic of a Mega Drive, the palm of your hand. Very, very, very cool stuff. So, without further ado, let's get down to playing Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive with Santino and the watchful eye of this very cool Sonic poster right now. Sega. Ha, 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 ha. All right, buddy. Go ahead, the lights. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now, the really cool thing about this is that we are actually playing Sonic 2 through the Mega Drive going from a HDMI cable hey, to VGA on this very cool gateway monitor, which it's gives us a super, super sharp picture. Your controller's right here, buddy. Hey, little man. Yes. Super sharp picture, but all the pixels are blended through the CRT as they're meant to be. So, I mean, I like the pixelated look as well. Don't get me wrong. It's all good. Um, but this looks, I think, really, really nice on this gateway monitor. And this is how I play all my minis. So, very good stuff. Oh, don't worry, buddy. We're going to go right now. Buddy, would you like to do the level select? Or would you just want to play through the game? Because if we want to do the level select, we go to 19. All right. 65. Now, oh, buddy, you messed it up. Okay, hang on. Oops. Actually, let's just play through the level here. Wait, are you tail? My tails? What's going on here? Let's reset this here. Alright. Okay, so there's our menu. Sonic 2. <coughs> Sega. Okay, buddy, don't mess with your controller for a second here. I'll get us to Dr. Eggman. Sonic and Miles. That is really interesting. Um, I never noticed in the Japanese Sonic 2, for the player select, it has Sonic and Miles instead of Sonic and Tails. And you can do to Miles alone or Sonic alone. That is super cool. All right. 19. Sixty five. Nine, seventeen. Hold A and hit start. Sega. And now we're at our sound test and our level select. So if we want to actually get supersonic, not that it'll do us much good in Death Egg, which is going to be the first thing we're going to do, is uh, we'll do four, one. Two, six. Do you want to fight Dr. Eggman and Metal Sonic, or do you want to do something else first? What do you want to do? Dr. Eggman. Alright, let's do it. This is the Death Egg Zone. Hey, this is the boss level. This is the boss level, big boss. Ooh, this is Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic. Ah, daddy messed up. I got greedy. I should have just gone for the two. Instead, I was trying to beat him super quick. One, two. I'm always assuming that Eggman is controlling Metal Sonic from the back. One, 
two, three, that should do it there. I always like to stand with my back to him while he's exploding, because it's super cool. Like, like I'm in a 90s action movie. Do, 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 do. I can't stress how amazing this looks going through this computer monitor. Yes. This is one of the most iconic fights in any video game here. Now, in Japan, a lot of the commercials for the Mega Drive Mini, it's got, like, cool Japanese 20-somethings camping together playing their Mega Drive Mini. I don't know. I mean, whatever works for you. Take your Mega Drive on the go in a tent or uh, in the comfort of your game room. Either way, the Mega Drive Mini is uh, amazing. Woo. He's going up. He's locking on. And he's going down. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. Thud. Uh, my only complaint about the Mega Drive Mini is it's only got Sonic 2 on it. Now, I know that Sonic, you know, is popular in Japan, but he's more popular in the United States. Um, so, you know, Sonic 2 is, like, you know, one of the most iconic Sonic games. And, uh... So if you're going to, you know, go for one Sonic game, I guess Sonic 2 would be the one, but you really should put as many Sonic games as you can on this thing here. There's There's got to be room for them. I understand Sonic 3 is, you know, tied up with Michael Jackson lawsuits and Brad Buxer lawsuits and things like that. Because um, Michael Jackson and his, you know, backup crew did the, a chunk of the soundtrack for that game. Yeah, we're going to broke Dr. Eggman here in a second. If we're careful. Never want to get too uh, get get too cocky here. Well, we got him. Woo. Go, Sonic, go. I mean, in my opinion, the best Sonic the Hedgehog game is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, followed closely by Sonic CD... And then I would say Sonic, Sonic 2 and Sonic Mania tied, and then Sonic 1, and all those games are fantastic. You want to do the next level? So this right here is our ending here with our beautiful Dreams Come True song. Um, which level would you like to do next, buddy? You want to do Emerald Hill? You want to do Chemical Plant? You want to do... Uh, we could do the, uh, layout for Genocide City, also known as Metropolis, Act 3. There's a lot of cool cut levels in Sonic 2. The most interesting to me being Genocide City, just because it's got that cool cyberpunk edgy name, and, you know, it never actually got completed, and I would have loved to have seen Sonic, like, running around in some kind of, like, neon metropolis. You want to do, what do you want to do, buddy? Metropolis? Chemical Plant? You seem to like Chemical Plant. Let's do Chemical Plant. Do do do. So there's our ending with Super Sonic, using the power of the Super Saiyan. Uh, well, we'll uh, skip the credits here. And we will... You, you want to just do Emerald Hill? The most iconic of the, uh... Let's do the zero level. The zero level? Yeah. Street Fighter Zero? No. I got it, buddy. Don't touch. Um, sorry. Sorry. Every, 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 Sega... Emulation on this is just every fantastic. Chemical plant. Can I do chemical plant? Yeah, every chemical plant. Now, this chemical plant isn't like the Sonic Mania chemical plant. The Sonic Mania chemical plant, you actually get to play uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Puyo Puyo. You want to do chemical plant? All right, let's do it. This is just regular chemical plant. Do 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 do. Chemical plant is that. What's this? Chemical plant. 
I have never been very good at the um, special stages in Sonic 2. I mean, I've beaten them all, but I haven't beaten them since I was younger. And by younger, I mean, like, junior high. We're almost at our 50 rings, which means we can get Super Sonic now. Super Sonic is a double-edged sword. Ah, we lost our rings before we get Super Sonic. Super Sonic's a double-edged sword because he's super fast and invincible and can jump very high. But in Sonic, as you know, requires uh, careful timing and quick reflexes. Are you singing the chemical plant theme? And we beat the stage. Do 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 do. I very much want to get a PC Engine Mini to add to my Famicom and Mega Drive Mini. Now we can just round out the '80s '90s powerhouse systems. You want to sleep? All right. Well, sweet dreams, little buddy. Are you snuggling up on Yoshi? Mm-hmm. You don't want to get squished. You know, I, I mean, I don't really notice anything resembling any kind of lag on this. So, I mean, honestly, I'm not that big of a uptight person when it comes to video game lag. I mean, if it's noticeable, then it's like, yeah, that's not great. But, I mean, I'm pretty chill... As long as I get the experience of playing the game, I'm, you know, I'm good. Do, 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 do. Again, with these uh, HD graphics going through this um, gateway computer monitor, they're supersonic. Um, we really get to see a ton of detail that you might not have seen through your old RF switch. The boss is going to be Dr. Eggman, and he's very tricky in this level because the uh, platforms underneath him uh, break, and if you do that, you'll go into the water, and that won't be good, and we got to be careful here because Sonic is so fast. He's going to be, yeah, he's not going to be in the big robot. Right, let's be careful here. Come on. Sonic, my timing here is pretty good, so we're... Oh, as I say that, there we go, down. Okay. Um, we're almost out of this here. This is one of the most tricky parts of this level here, is this uh, this part there, where you're on those um, moving blocks. I always tend to get stuck. Let's see if we can do like a big jump across this here. We got, uh, we got enough to do it. Good. Woo. We're almost at Dr. Eggman, buddy. No, oh, I screwed it up. Ah, oh, I got greedy. I thought I could kind of eat. I thought I could kind of momentum my way through that. So now we're going to have to fight Dr. Eggman without the benefit of uh, Supersonic. But actually, that might work more to our advantage because Supersonic is so fast and powerful that he... Uh, it's a little hard to control, and we do need to kind of be weary. Because while Sonic is all about fast momentum and your reaction to that, coupled with these, like, big, beautiful anime sprites, um, there is a good degree of timing that does go into these things here. Come on, I hate that. We beat him, but then our momentum from the explosion knocked us back into the knocked us back into the platform that disappeared beneath our very feet. Do 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 do. -do. Steady. Alright. Now let's see if we can get him. Now the greedy thing to do here is to try to knock him out all in one shot here. 
But I want to bail as quickly as I can here because... Ah, there we go. We got him. Because, you know, you don't want that platform underneath you to break. There's nothing more annoying than that happening. But we got him. We beat the level! Good stuff. It's going to be a um, marble garden. No, it's not. It's going to be aquatic ruin. So this is a level where you're in a kind of Greek ruins. So this is kind of reminiscent of Altered Beast. So the boss for this is going to be... Hey, there's Grounder from the um, Sonic uh, uh, Weekday Morning cartoon, which I really, really like that cartoon. I like that so much better than the Sonic uh, Saturday Morning cartoon, which was really, like, weird and awkwardly dark and not in a good way either. This isn't, like, a Power Ranger dying dark. This is just, like... It's going to be Dr. Eggman on Greek columns shooting arrows at us. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, no, that was, like, weird. Like, Dr. Eggman was just, like, creepy, and it was just not enjoyable to watch, and the story was kind of slow and dull, in my opinion. But the um, the regular cartoon that was on weekday mornings was really funny, and it did a good job of kind of putting Sonic in a within the world of his video game, but also within the idea of a kind of goofy, over-the-top American cartoon. And Sonic is, you know, on the one hand, a Japanese anime character, but he is also a Japanese anime character that takes a lot of influence from American culture. You know, like, Sonic has got a lot of references to that kind of cool 90s, irreverent Western style that was kind of typified through these images of Michael Jackson and Bill Clinton and, you know, things like that. So, um, you know, Sonic is definitely a Western anime care, a Western style anime character. And that works very well with the Sonic, uh, weekday morning cartoon that was on because it's a goofy Looney Tune style cartoon with some absurd humor matched with, um, the Sonic the Hedgehog characters. And it's done in a kind of a lighthearted way, um, that doesn't, you know, kill the the source material, whereas that Sonic Saturday morning cartoon was just, like, weird. It's like, hey, here's Sonic in a Holocaust. Great stuff, guys. It's like, no. And this isn't even entertaining. I also highly recommend the Sonic OVAs and Sonic X. That is one of Dr. Eggman's robots, buddy. Do, 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 do. The boss is absolutely going to be one of Dr. Eggman's robots, and what we need to do right now is we need to get a big old bubble here. Come on, come on, come on! There we go. Uh, uh. This game had some very nice Japanese commercials. Um, my favorite Japanese Sonic commercial is the uh, Sega CD one. And then I also like the Mega Drive one for Sonic 1, where it's got the Claymation Sonic going through, um, it looks like New York City. It's very cool. This is going to be tricky. Grounder. Bong, bong. Yeah, I mean, there was also that really weird American Sonic lore. You know, where Sonic is, like, from Kansas, and Dr. Robotnik is some guy named Kinto War. It is. One of Dr. Eggman's robots is definitely on his way, buddy. Boing. There we go. Ah! You jerks. I hate that. I hate it when uh, the levels use your planned momentum against you. Because it's like, you know, that's not my fault. But... Part of the challenge. And here's the boss. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not Greek columns. It's more like a Native American totem pole style. Alright. Use this. Get us up here. Make your hit. Like the NWO. We hit and we split.
Incidentally, the Sonic movie is now on uh, Fandango and Vudu for streaming. So I'm going to watch that today because I've been really wanting to see that. And we beat the level. And I think that's going to do it for this review. We got a nice, good, beautiful Let's Play sample of one of the best video games of all time. One of my all-time favorite video games with my all-time favorite person, the lovable Santino. So there we have it, guys. That is Sonic 2 for the Mega Drive Mini. A wonderful console that I really, really enjoy. You want to say bye to the people? Until next time, guys, I'm Noel, and this is Santino, and we will see you in the very near future. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.